In this video, we're looking at more than nine different amazing dark trim color options for your home, and they're all by Benjamin Moore. More than nine, AKA I got 10 of them. For those of you that are not quite familiar, your trim in your home are things like your baseboards, your door frames, your window frames, pretty much anything that outlines your walls and ceilings. That is your trim and your woodwork. And more often than not, people are gravitating towards these darker colors for their trim way more than they used to do. While white and off-white is still the standard when it comes to things like baseboards and frames, dark trim color are a lot of fun and I got 10 awesome choices for you that I recommend from the Benjamin Moore color collection. And if we haven't met, I'm James the color guy from The Paint People and this is a channel all about paint colors, interior design and color theory as a whole. So if you love that kind of thing, press that subscribe button because we upload a lot of videos every single week. So let's start with the most basic choice in my mind and it is jet black. This is going to be my black paint color choice of the video. Not necessarily the darkest black that Benjamin more makes, but it is one of my favorites when it comes to a very contrasty monochromatic type of black. Color code 2120-10 is going to be my choice if you just want black. If you want something that's very crisp and contrasty, not the darkest black, but my favorite to use on interior projects when I'm painting dark trim. What if you want that kind of black, but you want to soften it a bit and have more of an off black? Well, number two is going to be Cheating Heart. And this is probably one of my favorite off blacks by Benjamin Moore. It's a bit lighter than jet black, although still very black feeling and it is definitely a little more towards the cool side of things rather than the warm side of things. If you are working with a palette that does have those cooler colors, it will tone in nicely. And on the opposite side of things, if you like those warmer colors on your walls, then Cheating Heart will help contrast that with its little dash of blue that is very, very subtle and just changes the feel of the color rather than giving you a dark blue, for example. Number three is going to be a very similar off black, but this one feels a little bit less cool leaning to me, a little more neutral. It is wrought iron. One of my all time favorite colors in the dark spectrum throughout all paint companies, I would say. Wrought iron just has a lovely flexibility to it. Ultimately gives you a really rich dark charcoal gray that works in a limitless number of circumstances, especially for dark trim. Arguably one of my highest recommendations on this list, especially within the black or off black category. Now, what if you wanted to mix in a little bit of warmth? Well, my choice in that case would be iron mountain which is number four on this list. And Iron Mountain, just a bit lighter than the other colors we've talked about so far. And you can definitely start to see a little more of a brown coming through. Can almost feel like a really dark, deep shaded taupe, which of course is a combination of brown and gray. So the LRV is right around 11. It is one of the best selling paint colors that Benjamin Moore makes. This is going to be an option for you. If you're not quite going for as contrasty as black or off black, this will give you a really dark blackish brown. Number five is also along those lines of being kind of a brown and black, but this one is a bit lighter. Very, very popular color as well. It's called Kendall Charcoal. And I feel this color is extremely balanced with how much brown and dark gray it has. Sometimes can give you a little bit of a green undertone, sometimes, depending on your lighting. To me, it does feel very neutral and it can play both sides awesomely, whether you want to go a bit warmer or cooler with the whole color scheme that you're working with. Kendall Charcoal just really fits in. Similar to wrought iron with its level of flexibility, but of course, this is is bringing you a lighter color, but also clearly a little more warmth than wrought iron. So if you do want to go in that direction, then this is an awesome choice. Next up, we have Silhouette, which is part of the Affinity color line, one of my favorites. This one is going to be more brown centric. We're veering a little bit away from the off blacks and the grays. This one to me feels like a brown first with some gray added in to shade it. This is a fairly dark color. We're back down to like a 10 LRV, which is the light reflectance value. And that means it reflects 10% of the light that hits it, which is pretty dark. Right on par with Iron Mountain. Next up, we have an even darker brown in Black Bean Soup. And this is an extremely popular, rich espresso brown color that feels even more saturated with that brown. So you don't have as much of this dusty shaded quality that the other colors had. This one does feel way more like a rich, dark chocolate. You're not going to really mistake this one for black because even though it's super dark, it's darkened with a lot of brown and maybe a bit of black rather than an overabundance of dark gray. So this will be a great choice for those of you that are looking for something with a little more color hue, like an actual hue being shown, even though you're working with such a dark color with a very low LRV. Continuing this color trend, we have Mysterious, which is going to be my top choice, I think, for blues. It's similar to the very famous Hail Navy, but I feel Mysterious just has a lovely shaded quality to it. So it's not going to feel like bright blue like this. 
<laughs> or something. It has a toned down effect, which means it can just go in more spaces in your home. Because I find if you're going with something really vibrant on your trim, it usually is a very stylized, specific choice for maybe one part of your home. But colors like Mysterious, they're still shaded. They're still neutral enough where they can have that versatility. Now, what if you love the idea of Mysterious, but maybe you wanted a little more of a greeny vibe, maybe a dark teal? Well, I would go with Stonecutter, which is an awesome color that I haven't talked yet about on this channel. It essentially feels like a darkened version of Aegean Teal, which was one of the previous colors of the year. And it's just giving you a blackened, beautiful teal, which I think is an awesome color choice. As a trim color, it is a little more avant-garde, not necessarily one that is used very often, but I think it can be an awesome choice if you do lean into maybe cooler off-whites, let's say, for your walls. And then we have another color for those of you that are not really into the idea of going with an off-black trim or even a brown trim. Evening Sky would be my next choice if you want maybe a shaded purple trim, which is really out there, but I think it'd be an amazing accent trim if you have something that's much more neutral on the walls and maybe you wanted your trim to be the feature. Maybe you're working with woodwork that is a little more intricate and you want to accentuate it, then by all means, go with a darker trim that has some color. You'll really have people's eyes drawn to it that way, which I think is the purpose of picking an accent color. That is really, really fun. Whether you're going with black, gray, brown, or a fun dark color, utilizing dark Dark trim colors is an amazing way to completely change up your space without having to overwhelm your walls with color. Give it a thought. It can be an awesome way to freshen up your home. And speaking of dark paint colors, we got a video right over here on one. It's a whole color palette that I built based on this color. 